one thousand and one questions and answers on general history by benjamin hathaway rome one where is italy it is the central one of three great peninsulas that extend from the south of europe into the mediterranean sea two what is the size of the peninsula length seven hundred miles width on the north three hundred and fifty miles and in the south one hundred miles from smith three what sea bounds italy on the east the adriatic called by the romans mare superum four what was northern italy called by the romans gallia cisalpina five why so called it meant the country inhabited by gauls on this side of the alps six into how many classes are the early inhabitants divided into three great classes italians Epigians, and etruscans seven what did the italians inhabit the central part of italy eight into what two branches were the italians divided latins and umbro sabellians nine what seems to have been the origin of the italians it is evident that they are related to the greeks and at some remote period immigrated from the east ten where did the iapigians dwell in the extreme southeastern part of italy eleven who are they supposed to be the original inhabitants of italy who were driven to the south by the newcomers from the east this from smith twelve where did the etruscans dwell in the northern part of italy between the arno and the tiber a league of twelve cities these people were great builders and skilled in the arts thirteen besides these three races who else settled in italy in ancient times greek colonists and gauls from the north fourteen what general name finally included all the inhabitants of italy romans fifteen when does trustworthy history of rome begin about the year two hundred and eighty one b c sixteen why no earlier than this about this time the gauls sacked the city and destroyed the records and it was five hundred years after the founding of the city before the first rude attempt was made to write a continuous narrative of its origin seventeen when was rome founded and where seven fifty three b c on the river tiber fifteen miles from its mouth eighteen what did the romans accept as the early history of rome a series of legends nineteen what is the legend of the birth of the founder of rome romulus and his twin brother ramus children of the vestal virgin re silvia and the god mars were thrown into the tiber they were cast ashore at the foot of mount palatine nursed by a wolf and finally rescued by a shepherd and brought up by him twenty what is the legend of the founding of rome when the brothers were grown they determined to build a city near the spot where they had been so wonderfully preserved romulus desired to build on the palatine hill and ramus on the aventine the dispute was decided in favor of romulus by the aid of the shepherds and he called the new city rome after his own name and became its first king twenty one what became of ramus he was slain by romulus for jumping over the mud wall of the city in scorn romulus exclaimed as he slew him so perish every one who may try to leap over these ramparts twenty two how did romulus obtain inhabitants for the city by making rome an asylum for murderers slaves and thieves twenty three how were women obtained for the city by kidnapping the latin and Sabine virgins twenty four what is the real history of the founding of rome as received by the best critics it was founded by latins as an outpost against the etruscans whom they greatly feared twenty five what was its probable size at an early date it contained about one thousand miserable thatched huts surrounded by a wall twenty six what were the inhabitants 
most of them were shepherds or farmers who tilled the land upon the plain near by but lived for protection within the fortifications on the palatine hill twenty seven what was the early government it was aristocratic it had a king a senate and an assembly each family was represented in the senate by its head twenty eight what was the influence of the senate it was from the beginning the soul of the city and shaped the public life of rome throughout its entire history twenty nine what was the sabine invasion and league the sabines a neighboring tribe captured the capitoline and quirinal hills after frequent conflicts they came into alliance and formed one city thirty what are the people of the two tribes called romans and quirites thirty one what were their rights both had seats in the senate and the king was taken alternately from each thirty two who was the first sabine king numa pompilius the successor of romulus thirty three what is said of his reign it was prosperous he built the temple of janus and established religious institutions thirty four who seceded pompilius tullus hostilius six seventy three to six forty one b c thirty five what may be said of his reign it was as warlike as numa's reign had been peaceful his most memorable act was the destruction of alba longa thirty six what was done to the people of alba longa they were taken to rome and located on the coelian hill the albans and romans now became one nation as the sabines and romans had in the days of romulus thirty seven who seceded hostilius ancus marcius six forty one to six sixteen b c thirty eight what may be said of his reign he conquered many latin cities and brought the inhabitants to rome giving them homes on the aventine hill thirty nine who now conquered rome the etruscans forty what were their characteristics they were builders as well as founders they adorned rome with elegant edifices of etruscan architecture and extended around the city a stone wall which lasted eight centuries forty one whom did they place on the throne tarquinius priscus forty two how was his reign distinguished by great exploits in war and great works in peace forty three what improvements did he make built the great sewers of the city many of which still remain he also planned the great race course circus maximus and its games forty four how did tarquinius come to his death was assassinated by jealous enemies forty five who seceded him servius tullius five seventy eight to five thirty four b c forty six what may be said of his reign it was very peaceful forty seven what great thing did he do reform the constitution and laws forty eight what other great work did he do extended the walls of the city until rome sat on seven hills forty nine name the seven hills included in the servian wall palatine aventine capitoline caelian quirinal viminal and escaline fifty who were the two great classes at rome the patricians and plebeians fifty one which was the ruling class the patricians fifty two who were they the descendants of the first settlers they were rich proud and exclusive and demanded all the offices of government fifty three who were the plebeians the newer families they were generally poor forbidden the right of citizenship and not allowed to intermarry with the patricians fifty four how did the patricians treat them the plebeians were obliged to serve in the army without pay and were thus forced to borrow money of the patricians they failed in their payments they were sold as slaves by their creditors fifty five 
which class did Servius help the plebeians fifty six how did he classify the romans he divided them into five classes based on property instead of birth and these into a hundred and ninety three centuries or companies the people were directed to assemble by centuries either to fight or to vote and to the new centuriate assembly was given the right of selecting the king and enacting the laws fifty seven how did servius come to his death he was murdered by one of his sons-in-law fifty eight who succeeded him his son-in-law and murderer lucius tarquinius superbus fifty nine what was the character of the reign of tarquin the proud it was very tyrannical it lasted from five thirty four to five ten b c sixty what effect did such reigning have on the people they became very much dissatisfied with kings for rulers sixty one what was the final result they threw off the kingly government and the tyrant lucius or tarquin as he was called was forced into exile sixty two what did tarquin attempt to regain the throne by arms sixty three what did the romans do in this emergency they appointed a dictator who should possess absolute power for six months a great battle was fought at lake regillus in which the romans were victorious and tarquin gave up his attempt in despair sixty four what may be said of rome for the next one hundred and fifty years it was a period of civil wars and internal struggles sixty five what action did the plebeians take about four ninety four b c their condition becoming unbearable they departed in a body to the sacred mount leaving the city to the patricians sixty six how did the patricians compromise by cancelling the plebeian debt and by assenting to the appointment of two magistrates called tribunes to be chosen from the ranks of the people sixty seven what power was given the tribunes they could annul any law passed by the senate considered injurious to the plebeians by pronouncing the word veto i forbid sixty eight what was the next measure of relief granted the plebeians the agrarian laws from agir a field sixty nine what did they ordain that part of the public or conquered land should be divided among the poorer people seventy what change took place next the decemvirate was appointed seventy one what was the decemvirate ten men appointed to have control of the laws seventy two how long did this last for two years then the senate finding the laws favorable to the plebeians forced the decemvirs to resign seventy three what remained as the result of the decemviral legislation the celebrated code of the twelve tables these laws were engraved on blocks of brass or ivory and hung up in the forum where all could read them seventy four what kind of government followed the decemviret two councils were elected in place of the decemviret seventy five what was the state of the plebeian power in spite of great odds it was continually increasing and by three hundred b c rome possessed a democratic government seventy six what took place three ninety b c the gauls crossed the mountains and started for rome seventy seven by what other name were the gauls known the celts seventy eight what did they inhabit gaul the british isles and italy north of the po river seventy nine what did the gauls do with rome laid the city in ashes eighty what spite had the gauls against rome rome had fought against the gauls in the battle of clusium eighty one what was the battle cry of the gauls on to rome eighty two what is the tradition of the siege of the capital the citadel being built on a steep and lofty rock held out for seven months at one time the gauls having discovered a narrow path up the cliff 
had nearly reached the summit in the night when the sacred geese kept in the temple of juno began a loud cackling which awoke the garrison marcus manlius the roman commander aroused by the noise rushed out saw the peril and dashed the foremost gaul over the precipice eighty three how were the gauls persuaded to leave the city by the romans paying a large sum of gold eighty four what did the romans now do they partially rebuilt the city but with great irregularity eighty five who was the roman leader at this time camillus who led them in several successful attacks against the gauls eighty six what was the domestic condition of rome a great many poor people suffered on account of the expense of rebuilding their homes eighty seven what was the law of debtor and creditor those who could not pay their debts were carried away into bondage eighty eight how was the domestic trouble settled by a revision of the laws the people at last became united and were ready to commence conquering their neighbors eighty nine whom did they conquer first after three samnite wars which occupied half a century with brief intervals samnia became a subject ally and rome was mistress of central italy ninety what was the next great struggle of rome the war with pyrrhus the king of epirus the greatest general of his age he assisted the greek colonists in the southern part of italy against whom the romans had declared war ninety one what romantic incident is told of one of the battles of this war when pyrrhus looked upon the roman dead all of whom appeared to have fallen in their ranks with their faces turned toward the enemy he exclaimed if i had such soldiers as these how easily i could conquer the world ninety two what was the result of this war pyrrhus was defeated and having lost nearly all of his army returned to Epirus. the greek colonies deprived of his help were subjugated in rapid secession ninety three what was now the extent of roman power rome was now mistress of peninsular italy ninety four where did rome now turn her attention to carthage the great rival republic one of the wealthiest cities of the world ninety five where was carthage on the african coast of the mediterranean ninety six where was the first battlefield the island of sicily south of italy ninety seven how long did the first punic war last twenty four years two sixty four through two forty one b c ninety eight what was the result carthage surrendered sicily gave up all prisoners and paid four million dollars ninety nine who was the great carthaginian general hamilcar one hundred how many punic wars were fought three extending over a period of eighty years they finally ended in one forty six b c one o one who made the invasion of italy during these wars hannibal the son of hamilcar he crossed the alps with an army of one hundred thousand men cutting new roads through the solid rock one o two who was the roman leader in the punic wars scipio africanus one o three what was the result of these wars carthage which had lasted over seven hundred years and numbered seven hundred thousand inhabitants was utterly wasted and her territory became a roman province one o four what was the condition of rome at this time she now owned at least ten foreign dominions and was mistress of the civilized world one o five what was the effect of these conquests rome was inhabited by a motley population from all lands and the roman race itself was fast becoming extinct patriotism was a forgotten virtue and the soldier fought for plunder and glory though the nobles grew very rich the curse of poverty ate deeper into the state and the moral nature of the nation lost its vigor one o six what great danger next threatened rome the barbarians had been collecting north of the alps and were moving south half a million strong 
six different roman armies tried in vain to stay their advance 107 what was the result of their invasion they were totally defeated by the romans under marius and he was hailed as the savior of the country 108 what may be said of rome for the next few years social and civil wars reigned almost continually 109 who were the leaders in the civil war sulla who stood at the head of the roman aristocracy and marius the chief of the democracy 110 what foreign monarch also carried on war with rome mithridates king of pontus maintained a struggle with the romans for twenty-five years 111 who finally defeated him pompey who also reduced syria phoenicia and palestine and in ninety days cleared the mediterranean of the pirates that infested it one twelve when was julius caesar born in the year one hundred b c one thirteen what other great men were born about the same time as caesar pompey one o six b c and cicero the same year one fourteen what may be said of cicero he was the greatest of roman orators one fifteen who formed a great conspiracy in rome about this time catiline who was defeated for council a profligate young nobleman he formed a plot to murder the council fire the city and overthrow the government one sixteen who delivered a speech against catiline cicero this speech is considered a masterpiece of impassioned rhetoric and is still studied by every latin scholar one seventeen what became of catiline he fell in a struggle for his capture after he had been convicted of treason in the year sixty two b c one eighteen what was the triumvirate the chief men of rome pompey crassus and caesar formed a league known as the first triumvirate by the support of his two powerful confederates caesar obtained the consulship one nineteen when caesar was elected consul what did he do set out to conquer gaul carrying the roman arms into germany for the first time he twice invaded britain an island until then unknown in italy except by name one twenty when did civil war again break out in rome and between whom in the year forty nine b c between the friends of caesar and those of pompey caesar at once marched upon rome and in sixty days was master of italy one twenty one what was the result a total defeat of pompey's army took place on the plain of pharsalia one twenty two what became of pompey he was beheaded in egypt where he had taken refuge one twenty three what was the cause of caesar's famous dispatch he marched into syria and humbled pharnaces the son of mithridates so quickly that he wrote home vene vide vice i came i saw i conquered one twenty four who now became the great ruler of rome julius caesar he was created dictator for ten years and censor for three and his statue was placed in the capital opposite to that of jupiter one twenty five what civil act did he do revised the calendar and several laws one twenty six what is said of his government order and justice sprang into new life under his administration one twenty seven in the meantime what happened a great conspiracy was formed against his life by a large body of nobles one twenty eight who were some noted ones in the conspiracy brutus and cassius the former his most intimate friend one twenty nine what was the result of the conspiracy julius caesar was assassinated on the fifteenth of march forty four b c in the senate one thirty what reason was given for his assassination it was said he meditated making himself king and brutus was probably sincere in this belief but the others seem to have been actuated by feelings of envy rather than of patriotism one thirty one what was caesar's character he was the greatest man rome ever produced 
he was not only an able general and a consummate statesman and politician but a splendid orator a fine scholar and an elegant writer one thirty two what was his great crime having acquired power he did not know how to lay it down preferring to retain it although in so doing he destroyed the liberties of his country one thirty three what did he virtually become the first emperor of the roman empire one thirty four who now ruled affairs in rome mark antony the council one thirty five who made orations against antony cicero who denounced him in fiery oration styled an imitation of demosthenes the philippics one thirty six what became of cicero he was killed by antony's friends one thirty seven who was next chosen consul octavius a youth of nineteen the great nephew and heir of caesar one thirty eight what form of government followed a second triumvirate was formed between antony octavius and lepidus one thirty nine what did this triumvirate do they met brutus and cassius the leaders of the conspiracy against caesar on the field of philippi and a battle was fought in which the latter were defeated one forty how was the power apportioned octavius and antony divided the empire between them and lepidus received africa one forty one what became of antony he was ensnared by cleopatra of egypt gave up rome and after being defeated by octavius in a naval battle at actium stabbed himself one forty two what was the result egypt became a roman province and caesar octavius was the master of the civilized world one forty three what title did he receive after his return to italy augustus by which name he is known in history one forty four when did he die august nineteenth fourteen a d at the age of twenty six years the senate decreed that divine honors should be given him and temples were erected for his worship the month of august was named for him one forty five what was the period of his reign called this period from thirty one b c to fourteen a d was called the augustan age and was one of peace and prosperity one forty six what did he do for rome he beautified rome so that he could truly boast he found the city brick and left it of marble one forty seven who was the wickedest ruler nero the second fifty four a d to sixty eight a d one forty eight what great crimes was he guilty of the burning of rome and the murder of his wife and mother one forty nine why did he burn the city in order that he might blame the christians and then have a pretense for their persecution one fifty what great man is supposed to have been put to death in this persecution the apostle paul who must have been at rome at this time one fifty one when was the roman empire divided in three ninety five a d into an eastern and western empire one fifty two how long did they last the eastern empire lasted at constantinople for one thousand years but rome the capital of the western empire soon passed into the hands of the barbarians one fifty three how is the fifth century known as the era of the great migrations one fifty four what were they the different tribes of europe poured south and west with irresistible fury seeking new homes in the crumbling roman empire one fifty five who were the three great barbaric leaders alaric the goth attila the hun and genseric the vandal one fifty six what took place four seventy six a d the fall of the roman empire the sceptre crown and robe of the king were sent by the senate to constantinople at the command of the german chief oedicer one fifty seven what illustrious latin writers lived in the last century b c virgil horace cicero livy and sallust one fifty eight 
how did the romans regard education very highly as early as four fifty b c rome had elementary schools where boys and girls were taught reading writing arithmetic and music one fifty nine what is said of the romans as builders in military roads bridges aqueducts and harbors they display great genius one sixty what road leading from rome is famous for its beauty the appian way its foundations were laid by appius claudius three twelve b c one sixty one what is said of the roman bridges and viaducts they are among the most remarkable monuments of antiquity the romans applied the arts to the construction of massive stone bridges and valleys liable to inundation were spanned by viaducts resting on solid arches 162 what other buildings were constructed on a grand scale triumphal arches amphitheaters public baths and tombs 163 what are some of the most famous ruins of rome the forum the arch of titus arch of constantine the Colosseum, and baths of caracalla the latter contained sixteen hundred rooms adorned with painting and sculpture one sixty four what was the religion of the romans a worship of the powers of nature which degenerated into image worship one sixty five what were the principal public ceremonies of their religion worship at the shrine of vesta the goddess of home and offerings to the lares and penates the household gods one sixty six what were their public festivals the saturnalia and gladiatorial shows one sixty seven what was the saturnalia a festival occurring in december and lasting seven days in memory of the free and happy rule of ancient saturn it was time of general mirth and feasting wars were forgotten criminals had certain privileges and slaves were permitted to jest with their masters and were waited upon them at table one sixty eight what is said of the roman laws in the sixth century a d they were condensed into a code which is still the basis of the civil law of europe one sixty nine what period is called the dark ages the six centuries following the fall of rome four seventy six a d one seventy what change finally took place in the barbaric tribes that settled in roman territory they were converted to christianity one seventy one what did this do for rome the people who until the overthrow of the empire had been accustomed to depend upon rome for political guidance continued to look there for spiritual control one seventy two what was the bishop of rome acknowledged to be the head of the catholic church throughout western europe one seventy three what was the extent of the papal power during the middle ages it was very great increasing steadily till it reached its zenith in the thirteenth century under innocent the third he claimed to be an earthly king of kings and the papal thunder rolled over every nation in europe one seventy four for what is the fifteenth century noted for its ecclesiastical councils to which many monarchs appealed from the decisions of rome one seventy five what was the result of this tendency to resist papal authority rome was forced to confine its political action mainly to italian affairs one seventy six what italian cities attained great importance in the middle ages venice florence pisa and genoa one seventy seven what was the power of genoa and venice their trading princes controlled the money of the world and became the first bankers the bank of venice dating from seventeen eleven one seventy eight what is the italian renaissance a new school of art founded at this time which revived a knowledge of the treasures of grecian architecture sculpture poetry and philosophy one seventy nine what great men lived during this period of florentine history michelangelo poet sculptor and painter 
the renowned artists raphael and leonardo da vinci and the famous reformer savranarola afterward burned for heresy one eighty what was the condition of italy in the early part of this century it was enslaved and divided by austrian despotism one eighty one what was the desire of italian patriots to unite the country under one government one eighty two who was proclaimed king in eighteen sixty one victor emmanuel he controlled all italy except the austrian province of venetia and rome one eighty three when did these two come under his power in eighteen sixty six italy got back venice and verona and in eighteen seventy rome and the king moved his court thither from florence one eighty four who is the present king of italy humbert the first son of victor emmanuel succeeded to the crown on his father's death eighteen seventy eight chapter seven